hi guys welcome back to the channel if you are new please consider subscribing that's the only way you are going to get notified of future videos when we post like this video that's the only thing that i will ever ask you to do you don't pay for anything you don't pay for the things that you download from the blogs you don't pay for the content that i'm sharing here everything is shared for free so like this video Sometimes some people uh, come back and just ask for things that are already on the blogs and it shows me that people are just lazy. So don't be that person. Go through the blogs. There are pages and pages of stuff on those blogs. Forex robots, forex systems, indicators and things like that. If you don't find anything there then you can always come back and leave a comment in the comments box below and i'll try my best to look for what you are looking for okay so in the previous videos we established that the forex market the market 95 percent of the time the market is not doing anything new 95% of the time, the market has already done the work for you. So, what you just need to do is being at the right time, right place. And not make forex trading complicated. We established that in the last two videos. If you haven't watched those videos, then uh, please go back and watch uh, episode one and episode two so today i want to just quickly talk about entries how do you enter how do we enter now that we've established that the market is always repeating what it does and we are at a point where the market is about to do what it did previously how do we enter I know uh, there are many things, many tools, many approaches that people use. People use patterns, people use channels, people use trend lines, people use Fibonacci, support, uh, moving averages, and things like that. Today we are using naked charts. So there are basically two approaches that you can use. The first one uh, is going to require a lot of patience. It's really going to test your patience. So I'll try and demonstrate it before I go to the second approach, which still requires your patience and discipline, but probably uh, not like this approach. So let's go into the first approach. The first approach is you are going to load your chart and you are going to go to your weekly time frame. So like I showed you in the previous videos, you are going to plot your support and resistance on the weekly time frame. That's what you are going to do. You'll be plotting your support and resistance on the weekly time frame. And guys, uh, remember, while we are using lines, while we are using lines, it doesn't mean that price, if it moves below this line like it did here, that this is an invalid entry no because if you know and you've been trading and if you are still new price loves to create zones so these lines are not necessarily precise lines but they actually denote zones so for example you can tell here that price looked like it it was going to shoot up and it didn't and it fell back and it again came into the same area the zone is the area so 
price does not really have to touch this line and go back it can do a slight push up even a longer push up and yet still comes back down then we know that that's this one that's this one we know that's this one but i'm on the weekly time frame uh, what i want to demonstrate well, then after we let put my line back there where was my line and then let's use these four lines so this is the first approach and this one is going to test you so if you've got no patience uh, you use the second approach this is the first approach so after the weekly you are then going to drop down to the daily you are dropping down to the daily so you are a person who does not have time you don't have time to trade and you are looking for ways to trade the market you can actually use this strategy you can see how precise it is we said price these lines are not like exactly so we do have zones like price created a zone there and what can we expect price to go down <coughs> price to go down especially when it surpasses this weekly line you know definitely it's going to go down and where are we expecting it to go there is a zone somewhere here if you can see so price might not exactly reach this point but it's still within this zone and it went back up the same thing happened here price is refusing to go beyond this that's our zone so any trades that you take in this zone maybe from there but definitely you are going to sell from here you are not going to sell here because you would wait for this candle to close it went up and you wait for it to close this is the daily next day it did this inverted hammer and what did it do it went down so what are the advantages of this say you did not enter there you waited for price to come back here how many pips is that that was 315 pips and everything is clear you can tell where price is going after coming down here again price did not exactly rest on the on the line we have a zone there and we have a zone this is what typically happens when you have those lines we have a zone <coughs> to the top and a zone to the bottom so it's not exactly precise precise on the line so anything that you can take from here you are expecting a buy from here unless 
price comes down, breaks this zone and closes below it, then you know your next target is the next area. If it goes up and like it did here, breaks this zone with force, then definitely you know we are going up. And how many pips was this? Four, five, four seventy-six pips, four hundred seventy-six pips, and you are just placing a trade and forgetting about it. This is how many days? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you are, as an example, you are placing a trade on a Monday and you are closing the trade the next Monday. During the week, you do not need to do anything. You probably could look for other trades, or you could probably be doing your studying or doing other things. I hope this makes sense. So the first approach is plotting your support and resistance on the weekly time frame. Then you drop down to the daily. That's where you start spotting your entries. And this does not invalidate people who trade channels. People who love to trade channels and oh, wrong line. Uh, channels and patterns of course however they do it however they do it you can say where price was coming close to this trend line price came to this horizontal support and resistance line and still also met with the down trend line from there, we had our zone there. You could have easily sold from there because you've got how many confirmations? You've got one, the support and resistance line, and the second one with our down trend line there. And if you want, you can tell that we've got a channel that's moving down then you do not need to crack your head to look at this you do not need to buy a fancy indicator a fancy robot or a fancy system to know this some people have an understanding or they rely on patterns you will still find that you can still spot your patterns from here. But patterns are usually spotted. I discover, I think they are better used on the four hourly, on the hourly, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and the sort. Uh, on these high time frames, you are basically everything is clear. Generally, everything is clear. You don't need additional knowledge. You don't need to know anything else. So if you are really disciplined and you don't have time to trade the markets, this is one way to trade the markets. Let's find another pair. Let's take this ones off. I think those ones were plotted on the daily. We go back to to the weekly, and I said if you're not clear about what's happening, you can always click on the line chart. Then you start looking for your levels. Then you start looking for those levels. 
and they don't always have to be precise precise because we said it's a zone it's not a precise precise level then we go back to our candlesticks let's just use these lines that we have otherwise we would have plotted another line there but you get the point so this is plotted on the weekly then we drop down to the daily this is first time I'm looking at the chart so this is not scripted but can you see what you could have done here we have a zone with our line there and you can tell that price is not going down once you're here right time right place you know there is definitely a higher chance price wants to go back up that's 161 pips 161 pips you definitely know in this zone buy you place your buy and you wait for price to come to this area that's where you are targeting you are targeting for price to come to the to that area and there's a zone there i said these lines have zones above and below the lines so don't always think that the lines are going to be precise no so the zones usually i try to include the weeks with the zones my lines i usually try to keep them to the body of the candle and then the zone is the weeks that's where i target my stop losses so that's our zone there would have bought there and would have watched price come here and i would have taken my profit there i would have taken my profit there because if i entered here that's one day two day three day four day five days my trading week is done i did not need to do anything I did not need to do anything else. The market did it for me. The market did the work for me. I did not need anything. Just placed my buy there and waited for five days. That's what I said. This strategy requires patience. Your patience will be tested. So you need to be a person who can stand patiently for the market to play out if a person who enjoys getting in and getting out of the market getting in and getting out getting in getting out uh, say a hundred times a day this strategy might not be for you but if you are a person who's disciplined and who is patient enough you probably placed a buy there and two days within two days you collected your profits 170 pips some people are struggling with making even 20 pips some people are struggling with making even 30 pips you just entered and made 170 pips for doing nothing absolutely nothing then you would have watched price Break, break out and like uh, if you know uh, breakout strategies you don't enter on the breakout you wait for price to confirm that it's indeed a breakout what did it do it then bounced back or seemed to bounce back then it struggled for one day today you only had to wait for two days in this instance for two days for price to show you 
where it wants to go. Third day, you would have bought for another hundred or so pips. So this was uh, 122 pips. Then you probably close that trade and again because of broken this line you wait to see what price is doing and again here you can tell price does not want to go down so you find an entry and that is a, another 100 pips each time you are collecting more than 100 pips for easy work the only hard part that is required from you is patience which many people don't have patience you are going to be tested patience because these are daily candles but the advantage is if you've got work if you've got business if you've got studies if you've got things that you can do you wait for price to come to this point you enter yourself because you can see in this zone price comes in it drops it comes back up and tries in the next videos i'll show you where i place my stop losses and things like that we'll get deeper into that but here we are dealing with finding entries so we said the lines these are these lines were drawn on the weekly chart they are not precise because the whole area is a zone it's an area of activity so don't be shocked if the lines the lines are not capturing the whole thing you can see there it came up I usually try to encompass the weeks the highest week so it came up but you can tell that it's trying to keep below this zone yes it's doing this coming back into the zone but it's not breaking through it's not going up each time it comes into the zone price is forced that is forced down it might look like it's breaking out but this is to entice you this is to entice people who are not patient it breaks out you buy here and you're trapped because it went down for nearly 200 pips so you get the point higher time frames higher time frames and this thing you will make money and people love trend lines however i'm not going to pretend to be the master of trend lines but this does not invalidate trend lines or people who trade channels in fact you can use it hand in hand with trend lines and channels and actually make it into a powerful system a powerful trading strategy and you can use this uh, approach as the basis for your own trading strategy as the basis for your own trading system after understanding this after understanding this then you can start bringing in your fibonacci's your whatever you 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 believe is your edge in the market but you are building from this so this is not in any way contradicting what you already use but i'm just showing you that things can be simple let's choose one last pair to do, do this i think we probably were here because it's green uh let's find euro usd we go back to the weekly time frame by now you know what we do when it's not clear use the line chart 
boom, boom there. I'm trying to spot where price had a change of heart, a reaction of some sort. Then we go back to the candlesticks and we drop down to the daily. We can tell that this line is a zone of interest. It's not a line of interest, it's a zone of interest. Each time price comes to this line once, twice, thrice was the first time. Okay, fourth, fifth, sixth, this seventh for seven times seven times seven times price has come to this zone and it has reacted to this line in some way so you can simply plot your entries from this point again like i said because these are higher time frames you are going to be tested you are going to be tested Honestly, this was an easy entry because price came up and came down but did not close below this zone. And next candle, next day, you bought for some 88 pips, easy peasy. And you probably got out of the market. And the next day, it did something else, probably came down here. But with your knowledge, you bought again for 120 pips. You did not need to, to crack your head over this. I don't know what happened there, but seems like price came here and then went down. But uh, you probably would have skipped a day skip a day and then price again came down here and you probably would have bought and that's a hundred pips next day price did the same thing came down same zone for another hundred pips each time you are banking a hundred pips one trade another hundred pips each time you are banking a hundred pips or so. Uh, here you could tell that price is struggling, struggling to, to, to stay up here and you would have sold. If you had held it, that's some nearly 232 pips over one, two, three, four, five days just place your trade here for example on a monday and you go away and do something else and you come back on friday here you collect your profits so this is first approach for people who do not have time to trade people who absolutely absolutely just want simple trading of course you then need to have an understanding of of candlesticks. Uh, you need to understand what the weeks are telling you. What the weeks are telling you. What the weeks are saying. But generally, on the higher time frames, everything is clearer than a person who is trading the five minute chat this person is entering so many buys and sells so many buys and sells end of the day they're exhausted they are tired and they've made losses and they've made wins and at the end of the day they are bound to make mistakes and they blow their accounts they blow their accounts sold here closed there bought somewhere there, close there, bought here, sold here, close somewhere there, bought here, thought it might go up and got taken down and 
bought here close there sold there close there probably thought it was now going down so sold there and it went up and they lost the trade you get the point but the person who is trading the higher time frames can basically tell where it's going this person can tell you where the market is going here with two candles two weeks there that's not really anti buy there and collected easy 60 pips or something if you didn't close the trade and then next day it came down and then it went up right now with some 44 pips something like that so you probably have 70 something pips for not doing anything so these zones and areas you cannot just say it's hogwash you cannot just say it's coincidence even if you are skeptic okay so we'll get into the next video uh my favorite approach this was uh, to show you that this you can do at any time frame a uh, higher time frame like the video subscribe if you're not yet subscribed let's get into the next video